Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another Diamond Art Club sneak peek to share with you all. This one is a square drill painting from Micah Jelena. Now Micah Jelena is one of my favorite artists at Diamond Art Club. This is a 70 by 102 centimeter diamond painting and so it's quite long, quite large and it's mostly going to be black background. So let's dig into it and have a look. How are you all doing today? Happy Friday. This comes out tomorrow, Saturday the 13th, and I cannot get into this. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you're all doing really well and that you had a good week. Roll on the weekend. Now that the weather's getting warmer, I'm actually really getting into diamond painting a lot more. Oh, here we go. All right, so inside of the box, we have the painting, we have the tool kit, and we have the sticker. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, I just realized you were at a weird angle. Here's the sticker. I like to put this on the side of the box so that I could see them easily in the closet. This is our tool kit. I'll show you what's inside. So we've got a bag of baggies, we have the drill pen and the tweezers, a matching pen grip, which is great. We have two plates of heart-shaped wax to use in the pen, two multi-placers for the end, a cover minder, and this gorgeous rose washi tape. Very pretty. I think it'll go with the color scheme really well. And I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it is super Super pretty. Let's go ahead and get into this diamond painting. Open up this dust cover. I can never get that thing <laughs> to close up again. There we are. So we have the canvas itself, which is super soft. We have the diamonds. Put this to the side. The diamonds are here. Look at that gorgeous color palette. There's purples, pinks, grays, and black. We'll look at those closely here in a minute. We've got a how to diamond paint and a thank you. In here is a coupon, and if you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, I have a coupon linked down below if you would like to use it. It only works for new customers of Diamond Art Club, but I thank you in advance if you decide to use it. And then we have the legend. This is a sticker sheet. It shows you the original artwork. I didn't even notice that they have the mirror image of her on the sides. So that's really pretty. And then there's 25 colors. We've got two fairy dust diamonds and one AB diamond. Let's see what this canvas looks like. All right. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> How is your day going so far? This is going to be amazing for people who like to multi-place and people who like the color 310, <laughs> like me. Anybody else out there? All right. There we go. Wow, that's huge. Oh my gosh, look at the sides. <gasps> so pretty. Hey, I matched the painting today. <laughs> Wow, look at her. Oh, she looks so pretty. Look at that. These little raindrops. Looks like a, a butterfly here. She's got wings. Her beautiful dress. Gorgeous. It's very Lolita, isn't it? And it's got like a touch of like robot. Kind of steampunk, not quite steampunk. Definitely gothic. That's very pretty. I know that um, Micah Delina has a really big fan base. So, <laughs> and and for good reason. She is a great artist. So just a little bit about the details of the painting itself. So the canvas is this gorgeous pliable poured glue type. Um, and it has these this new perforated plastic that is double-sided. And this will make it easy to make sections on your diamond painting. So if you don't like the washi tape, it's already like pre-done for you, which is great. And then there's the artist information and the kit information and everything. 
we've got the the uh, social media and even a coupon and then a warranty for it which is great oh my gosh look at her okay we're gonna look up close and we're gonna see the symbols so the symbols are very clear I don't see any issues there Definitely not having any mistakes or not mistakes, but you know, symbols that might make it difficult to do. I'm looking all over and they are really different from each other. So that's good. All right, let's look at these colors. How many bags of 310 do you think there's gonna be? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Wow. This might actually beat the record. Descendant of the Volcano had the most 310 that I know of so far. So we've got three strands here. Let's start with 310. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we've surpassed Nightbringer. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've got a 9, 15. <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 bags of 310. Holy moly, that's amazing. All right, I'm going to turn on my light for the rest of these colors. Got 823, 413, there's two bags. 762, 414, 3799, there's three bags. No, four bags, sorry. Then we have our fairy dust. <gasps> That's pretty. 3607 is a beautiful, let me see. Is that silver or blue? I think it's silver. Yeah, in the camera, it looks more silver. Very pretty. I like that a lot. So two bags of that. We'll see where those go in just a minute. And then 3608, 317, there's three bags. 718, 3865, 415, there's two. 318, 550, 38, 37, 38, 35, 819. Our other fairy does, 3746. This one has purple. Ooh, purple. Come on, camera. Wow, very pretty. Also, our AB diamond. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's that really pretty coating on the top of the drill. You see how shiny it is? Kind of like my, ooh, like my nails. Gorgeous. 3041, 208, 333, 154, and 3836. All right, so on the canvas, let's start with the AB. AB is number one. I believe yes number one and it is a light pink and so I see that there are ones in her hair a little bit a little bit here by the wing there's a little bit here and here and there and her kind of cuffs of her sleeves and in that little thing on the dress here there's actually a lot of ones in this butterfly. And going down the front of the dress. There's also a couple of them in these little areas of pink. Going down to her shoes. Are there any in the boots? None in the boots. None on this little ring here either. All right, so that's all of the AB. Then we've got the two fairy dust drills. The first one was pink, and I see quite a lot in this dark pink section here in the umbrella. Quite a lot there. In her hair, sh shadowing her hair here. It's also one of the secondary colors here inside of the wings and along 
the edges there. It's also in like the corset part of this dress and coming down in the middle. So it's really accentuating all of these areas of pink here. There's a couple on the side as well. Oh my goodness. And all along the border. Oh wow, that's why, okay. So just a little bit more of the body. So in the boots as well, here, here on that heel, in the pad here, this place where she's stepping. And then again, all of the frame, all of this pink. And then if we come back and look at the sides, it's here. Not in the lips or the eyes. I don't know why the, this is rolling up quite a bit. There's a little bit in the hair there, but that's, that's it. It's just this frame. Oh, so pretty. And then we have the purple fairy dust diamond. That is like all these raindrops here that you see. There's a little bit of it in there and here. Still in the raindrops coming down, not in the dress, but in these drops. Are there any over here? No. So mainly in these raindrops here, there's a couple in this butterfly, but not this one. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. I need to know what y'all think. What do you think of this painting? Isn't it pretty? I like it. I know it's a lot of 310 and that might put some people off, but I find it really satisfying to lay down the three tendrils. And once they are on the kit and the kit is complete and you put it up on the wall, it shimmers like nobody's business. So if you are the type of person that loves this artwork, you're going to absolutely love the finished effect of this. And I love these borders with the faces. That is so pretty to me. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think that you're going to get this weekend from Diamond Art Club or is this more of a wish list item for you? I would love to know. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all soon in my next one. Take care everyone. Bye!